While it's raining now, some places are still trying to clean up from Monday's storms. The National Weather Service was in Bath County to get a look at some of the damage there. Jim Caldwell toured the damage with him. He tells us what caused it in our top story at 530. It has been an extremely wet and stormy summer across central and eastern Kentucky. After taking a break for a few days, the pattern got a little active again on Monday. A cluster of storms sparked flash flooding and strong winds in many areas. Bath County was one of those. It shows you the power of, of thunderstorm winds, and people kind of latch onto the word tornado, but it doesn't take a tornado to do a lot of damage. The storm survey team was here today looking at some of the damage to make an assessment. Uh, it looks to me like straight line wind damage. Uh, most of the debris, I mean, it's pretty substantial debris to, and damage to trees and this barn. Uh, everything's kind of blown in one direction, not much signs of rotation. So probably straight line wind damage up to 90 miles per hour. And you can see right here, winds came rolling through this area and leveled this barn, a straight line wind that is, leveled it and then eventually pushed some of the debris all the way down the farm. Eventually it got caught up in the fence line. Winds to do that in this particular case were around 90 miles per hour. Winds like that are comparable to a low end EF1 tornado. Parts of the barn were scattered half a mile to a mile in some cases. In Bath County, I'm WKYT meteorologist Jim Caldwell. The area was also hit hard by flash flooding. The farmer that owns that barn tells us water didn't get high enough to cause any problems on his property, but it did keep him from assessing the damage until the waters receded.